Hey, good morning. So today we're going to leave the resort and head out to a nature reserve to go and meet the Mauritian kestrel. In the 60s, nearly went extinct. There was like one or two pairs left in the world. And today the story is very different. And it's very different because of incredibly considerate environmental efforts. You get to I, I learn know, and no see. One. For now, I can hear the bus. I will invite you in the nursery. All right. Just pick one lever and smell it. Scratch it with your finger and smell it. Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah, but I, I thought I just thought there's no ways. Hello, it's called Bois de Renet. How long do you think it'll take you to fulfill your main goal, which is to restore the way the environment was 400 years ago? Don't be tired. I've been planting 35,000 trees, okay? In 10 years yeah. on 13 acres the valley is 200 acres just with a calculation for <laughs> man is almost 60 he's touching 60 man <laughs> you know like he's been doing this for a while and he also understands the fact that you can only see what he's planted and what he's sowed in that time where he's already in like a wheelchair and everyone's bringing them in so i like the fact that they understand like it's a dedication and a commitment Conservation is something that has become so important to the people of Mauritius, especially in recent years, as they tried to claw back the damage done by generations of colonialism. So we are calling the Mauritius Castrel by the head of a whistle. So many of these wonderful young people that have come with us on this trip were able to give us their first-hand experience of what they were seeing and what they were learning in real time. Us, we're a group of five children, but we have Nick Hammond here, we have 5FM listening in, we have a whole documentary series that's listening in, and a lot of people who are going to view it are going to be stemming from this five people who are like-minded. So I think when you have this kind of group, the impact stays in the group, but when it's communicate outside of the group. It's more of a lasting effect as opposed to just something that would be an instant reaction. Walking through the hills and the valleys in this protected area, we were able to see firsthand just what is happening in this incredibly important part of the world. Actual cinnamon. Wow. You know that fireball. Yo, it no, tastes no, like fireballs! <laughs> there is so much more to a country than meets the eye, and it takes getting out on the ground and exploring firsthand to truly see it. Mm.